what can you tell us about the Vatican Tapes? Uh, the Vatican Tapes is about a really sweet girl, Angela Holmes, who becomes possessed by probably the most evil force there is. <laughs> what can you tell us about your character? Um, Angela is just a normal girl going about her life and and for some reason she was targeted by the devil to be the vehicle for evil and, and I think everyone in her life is, is very confused the whole time and, and uh, everything goes really bad. Why do you think audiences love horror films? Oh my, I think audiences love horror films because you know, it's escape from reality. And, and a movie like this that deal with re religious subjects and good and evil, it's scarier because it could be real and it's, you know, a lot of people s believe that it is a possibility and that that's exciting to them. You know, I get excited, I love horror films. How is it working with Michael Pena? He's great. Michael Pena is, is a phenomenal actor and it was such an honor to work with him. And, and he's so great on set, keeping me from going crazy in between takes, I mean, telling jokes. And, you know, he's just, he's so good at his job. And it was just wonderful learning from him. Did anything during the production, was there any scary moment or were you ever frightened? Yeah, you know, some of the locations were pretty terrifying. That We filmed in a, an abandoned hospital and there was just a giant, empty hospital and it was cold and dark at night and, and people heard voices down the halls and saw faces in the windows that weren't there and it was pretty scary. I didn't sleep well. Do you personally like horror films? Yeah, I love horror films. And what is your favorite horror film and why? Uh, the Exorcist is my favorite horror film. I watched it when I was, I think, about five years old. I walked in on somebody watching it and it's stuck with me ever since. It's terrifying to me still. I rewatched it right before I started shooting. Hey there, Valerie here with another round of So You Think You Know Movies and today it's Star Wars. Did you know that early drafts of The Empire Strikes Back had Yoda named Buffy? Mm -hmm. Carrie Fisher never wore a bra when playing Princess Leia as George Lucas said that there is no underwear in the world of Star Wars and so I... No, 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 no. And finally, Darth Vader's name was changed to Lord Fenner in Italy because Father in Italian sounds too similar to water, the word for toilet in Italian. Hit that subscribe button to stay updated on all the latest releases and movie news. Bye!